Oh, right, the next story quest is Boys with Boats. Cutscene. You wish to pay the ruby tithe, yes? With your gill, perhaps? It is just as well. Foreign currencies are in demand these days. I would pay for their passage to Othard, says Soroban, our, our turtle friend. Does this sum meet with your satisfaction? The sea has been quite tempestuous of late. I cannot say with confidence that you would reach your destination safely, unless you tripled it. Do, do you take me for a fool? I know the price, as do all. Alas, we live in interesting times. As you came from Kugane, I should think I need not tell you that. The shadow of war looms. The wise and the cautious, cautious shirk our waters and our custom, and the foolhardy sharpen their knives in anticipation. Meaning, says Lise. Sir, sir, you've got to come quickly. The bastards are at it again. I tried to convince them to stop, but they weren't having it. <sighs> Very well, I will be there shortly. Hmm, a proposition. Your comrades strike me as a worthwhile investment. I would not hear uh, men name me a cat before Koban, so I shall consider their tithe paid, not for what they have done, but what for, I ex but for what I expect them they will do. Ah. All right. I'm not sure how to make that uh, of that man. I'm not sure what to make of that man, but at least the matter of our tithe is settled for now. What what was that he and the other pirate were talking about? Maybe we ought to go and have a look. The turtle man looks a little bit shocked at this, but we all go. Now we're heading more west. Across, we've got the puffer fish guys. If they're called bomb fish, I do assume that they're going to explode at some point. So let's try to anger them. We are on lava rock now, which, if you've never been on lava rock, it's you know black. It's the cooled lava. There's gasame, which are giant fire crabs. They're fucking cool looking. Impractical, but cool looking. Hellborn Anala looks like a fire naga. Like a humanoid serpent, you know, naga kind of thing. But fiery. Who would have guessed all these volcano animals and stuff would be. Alright, we make our way through like some big old hills. And see some fire crabs, a fire spirit, and a destination out here with everybody waiting quite far off. So let's go see what the destination holds. Actually, you know what? Let's just talk. I don't do this often, but just curious. Let's see what Lee Salasay goes out and such. That's Tansui over there, isn't it? Says Lee. Do you know what this is all about? Says Alisei. Hmm. <clears throat> I have been away for some time, so... I am not certain this is a wise idea. Alright, cool. Pretty worthless, but interesting sometimes. So no, you're gonna fight me. Don't you dare hit my chick over chick. Oh, I forgot that I had my... Yeah, I ran a dungeon as Dragoon last night off camera just to get some more experience points and I did not have my final final closers, so I'm just not used to using them. Okay, fire crab defeated, the destination clicked on. Surveying, waiting. Cutscene. There's a small ship with two men standing in the water, kind of near it, looking at it, and there's some... Gentlemen! I'm told you were most unreceptive to my associate's requests. Some red-colored turtle guys in the ship. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, <laughs> your safety in these waters cannot be assured. This is Tan Sui, by the way. Spare me your concern, pirate. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not work on us. This is an Imperial Pilus Prior, a black armored, like black hood, black helmet, black everything, some gold trim, 
some kind of white things hanging from his backside for some reason. Gold shoulder epaulets. You remain at large because we allow it. Because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. His front is more... Um, he does have a samurai sword, but his front is also more uh, elaborately decorated with some more gold filigree and uh, little white tassels on the nipples for some reason, and kind of purple inlay. But if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Galian Empire to bear against your pathetic fleet. Bastards! Uh-oh. A guy with... Uh, I don't remember his name already. Go sweet, see? <laughs> Gentlemen, Tansui, sorry. surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. He had pulled out his bow and Tansui, you know, puts a hand out to gentle him. All talk, just as I thought. Come, let us away. I have no time for this rubbish. One of the red turtle men pulled a blade when the dude pulled his bow and but the small ship sails off. I call it a dinghy, I believe would be a good term for it. It has a really tall rectangular sail. We're all the same to them, aren't we? Savages to be ruled or slaughtered. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe, but they were never so eager to pick a fight. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent, and the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial vessel, she'll accuse us of attempting to ferment rebellion and brand us enemies of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be. Like the man said, we're all talk. And where did the Kojin stand in all this? With the winning side, of course. They're mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. The Shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather not. He's not in the picture right now. I don't know where he's gone. But he was shocked to see the red shells. I don't understand. If the Garleans are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are Doman to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Doman Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Besides, what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederacy. We look out for none but our own. Least looks Be looks... that as it may, our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape for crumbs from the Empress' table. Lise looked like she was about to step forward and say something else, and Alice say, you know, put a hand on her arm, shook her head, like, it's whatever, you know, not worth it. Kind of All while, our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages even as we speak. That she-devil! Her perfidy knows no bounds! She must be stopped! Come, let us find Soroban and put us here at once! Tell the others that these ones have paid. We all have places to be. Right, speaking with Gosetsu. What are we waiting for? Come, come, Sorbonne cannot have gone far. Though now that I think on it, it is passing strange that he would that 
He left without warning. Mayhap he did not wish to be seen by his cogent brethren. I doubt he thought to leave us behind, but nevertheless, it may be prudent to return to his ship, or at least to the Confederate encampment. Right. Oh, there's a shark. A, land, a flying shark. It's in the water. And it's crazy cool looking. It looks like it's got, like, the front half has some coral to it. I'm gonna kill you. Because why not? Can I jump? Can I, I'm gonna see if I can run over this. It looks like it might be uh, blocking my path, but we're about to find out. Can you jump it? No, you can't. Can you jump it? No, you can't. Okay, that's fine. It's not hard to go around. It's not long at all. What's this? Regular big old blue crabs. Oh, they're part of a fate. I'm kind of curious about these puffer fish. The bomb fish. I'm about to find out. Fuck around. 1,000 spines is like this AoE move, but I telegraphed enough to dodge it. So probably just bomb fish because they do that circular AOE around them, as if a bomb, but really just needle explosion. Kind of oh, an air current! I didn't see this when I was leaving. Good thing I saw that. Ether current. Let's see what these Tatsunokos do. They're like that blue. Flying serpent thing. They have an untelegraphed frontal cone attack thing. So if you were like tanking them, just make sure everything, everybody else stands behind them. All right, Sorbon. Oh, my friends, a thousand pardons. As you may have guessed, I was reluctant to be seen in your company by my red brothers. Ours is a complex relationship. I pray you do not misinterpret their actions as a reflection of our allegiances as a whole. You, you understand? Call me be praised. Too often our shell less quick to judge all, all cogent for the deeds of one. Right, then, now that our business with Tan Tansui is concluded, we can traverse the Ruby Sea without fear. All right, um, whoops. On a level 265, Paladin or Dragoon Feet. Let's find out. Dragoon 255, Paladin's probably like 270, right? Yeah, so it'll boost Dragoon by a bit. Why not? Come on, no, no, no. And has crit, yay. Okay, let's pop him on. Cool. All right, and that was whatever quest I said. <laughs> um, really? Whatever, I wrote it down. Uh, that was Boys with Boats. I will see you guys for the next one soon.